Hi, I'm Chef Asia B. I'm a sweet and savory soul food chef and caterer. I am the owner and founder of it. The catering is just a part of the size, so I'm a full-time private chef, so I go and travel to my clients from their homes in different states doing different brunches and dinner parties, luxury events. I do menu developing, creating the menus, and food for them down to the appetizers, full entrees, and down to dessert if they prefer to have that. So everything is just like sweet and savory, just kind of having them have that memorable childhood food that was passed down to them. Most likely it's soul food that I, I love to cook. A lot of the recipes were passed down to my grandmother. I just wanted to keep on her legacy of that soul food comfort. I wanted people to know who Edna was. Being young and having this stigma and seeing what everybody else is doing on social media, that you have to compete. You see another chef living this life, but behind closed doors, you don't know what they're going through. I think it's important to have a couple of mentors in different aspects of, of certain avenues. What does this, uh, getting this grant mean for your small business? It means a great deal. Um, I have a honey butter line coming out this spring so that's a big project so a chunk of that will go towards the funding for that and equipment and supplies that I need and the people that I hire right now that's on the back end for that is been is going to be very helpful for that also just the expenses for my event this summer that's coming up because <laughs> That is going all towards the business for that and then the commercial kitchen. The the mom and pop shops and small businesses, we're the, we're the little dogs but in a big house trying to just bring our community together. You know, we like to keep the community happy.